As the busy travel season gets underway, airline passengers in more than a dozen airports may see new technology at the security line. It's a digital identification program that uses facial recognition. Well, this all comes as the Transportation Security Administration is under pressure from lawmakers to update technology and cybersecurity. But critics warn it's a dangerous surveillance tool. Chris Van Cleve takes a look. Good morning. At the world's busiest airport in Atlanta. All right, you're fully verified. The TSA checkpoint has gotten a high tech upgrade. You're going to take your ID insert it into the card reader. Using this facial recognition camera system to compare a flyer's face to their picture on their ID in seconds. All right, ma'am, you're verified. Thank you very much. You can step around. If there's not a match, like here in this demonstration, the TSA officer is alerted for further review. It's showing that the ID is a valid ID. It's showing non-match because those are two different people. We view this as better for security, much more efficient because the, the image capture is fast. TSA Administrator David Pekoski. How does that speed things up? Well, facial recognition first and foremost is much, much more accurate. And we've, we've tested this extensively. It brings the accuracy level close to 100% from like mid 80% with just a human looking at, at a facial match. The program has been rolled out to more than two dozen airports nationwide since 2020, but is currently voluntary for flyers. Most images are deleted after use, but some information is encrypted and retained for up to 24 months as part of the ongoing review of how the technology performs. There are skeptics. Five U.S. senators sent this letter demanding TSA halt the program. You don't have to compromise people's biometric security in order to provide physical security uh, at airports. And privacy advocates worry about the lack of regulations around facial recognition and its tendency to be less accurate with people of color. You have five senators that have called on TSA to stop the program. Why continue moving forward with it? I agree with them in that I want to protect privacy for every passenger and that I want to deploy technology that's accurate and doesn't disadvantage anybody. As for passengers opting to use it. This is a lot quicker way to get through. Got nothing to hide. <laughs> so no, no concerns here. I think it's great. TSA plans to add the technology to at least three more airports by the end of the year. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Atlanta.